They could also just leave it to the last pick, but generally it's not advised. And I do believe they mm. are. They probably will leave Nico's hero till the last for that uh, that mid hero. What do you want here, though? If you if you are zero three two, right? Like you've got the Marana to deal with the uh, the Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Not it's not the most guaranteed way to get it done. You might want something else in the pause five role that can try and deal with the Phoenix egg. Only yeah. problem being is the one hero that does it really well is the Snapfire, mm-hmm. and it's already taken. So, yeah. what do you do now? I think. I think you. I think you do have enough to handle that um, egg. Yeah, I was gonna say Witch Doctor would have been good, right? You want to play in that Chrono Jakiro would have been okay as well, but I feel like the Ice Path's just inconsistent, considering that you don't have a guaranteed Marana Arrow setup. So the Witch Doctor cast is a little bit better to at least get some catch out. Um, Maldix pretty good here as well. Uh, combine that with you know catching people up in Blood Riot with a cast with a Maldix on top, you can really melt these heroes fast. And of course, the sustain from the Witch Doctor is pretty nice as well. So it ties up this draft. It's a classic Void. Witch Doctor combo, 496. That's the combination, Mike. Uh, this is what will happen. At some point, if the Axe comes out for a snap, Lifestealer and Centaur, Centaur inside the snap, spit them out, <laughs> get your initiation. It's, it's, that, it's that nice. The 496. It's a solid, it's a solid combo. You, know, it's, you just need to pay 4,200 gold for it. But, you know, once you get there, you get there and it's scary. It is. We'll wait out the uh, the final bands now before we get to see how these drafts do finish off. Starting with 496, who are still looking to ban some more mid heroes. Uh, they haven't picked up their own mid though, so they'll have to be a little bit cautious about that. Unless we are going to see a Snapfire mid, which you know I wouldn't mind because mm-hmm. we've seen it. We see it. We saw it from Makoto, Arbed, and Yopage. So it's like, why not just also see it from the side of 496? See if they can get it done. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah, sure Hunk could run it. Yeah, for sure. It's it's just been so solid. Um, four nine six isn't gonna have last pick though, so I guess they're gonna have to show that the Snapfire is mid with their last pick. Um, that might give zero three two, you know, a, a chance to draft something nice, but it's it's still fairly open. Um, for bo- for at least four nine six into where to toss the snap. Hmm. If you're not gonna go snap though. What would have been really nice? I mean, you don't necessarily want the Spirit Brothers into a Faces Void because Chrono is always your biggest concern. I think you want to play with something that is still fairly quick. Seconds. Couldn't you just Invoker here? Like, because 0 3 2 might ah. pick Invoker. Oh, in fact, it was yeah. banned out. Never mind. 496 already got hmm. rid of it. All Damn. right, so no Invoker. Yeah, yeah. It uh, would have been pretty good for 0 3 2, but you know, it's a straightforward ban. What do you take here? Hmm. 496, it's way more open, and... Okay, so it's the snap. It's the snap, okay. right? It's snap like fire. Shadow Demon. Mm-hmm. Love to yeah, see it. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, it's, it's a great one. I think it combines well here. I love the Shadow Demon. We were looking for a support to deal with the Chrono. So if the Shadow Demon's outside, that disruption comes in, suddenly your Chrono's not that valuable. It, it's a great way to save people out. It's a great way to stall these fights out as well. Zero three two. They've got this Bloodseeker combo. They've got the Witch Doctor. I think he goes Zeus. I, I think you really just go Bloodseeker Zeus. You play around with the Turn God's Rat. You be aggressive. It keeps the pace up. And 496, they, they, they've they got the Lifestealer, which doesn't care for it too much. But there's still so much potency with that combo. I would love to just see it once before groups close out. Zero three two. Think about this last pickup now. They still need that mid lane. Okay, oh. we'll go for the crop to finish things off. It's a nice hero up against the snap fire. You should be able to really destroy the snap fire in the mid lane with this Queen of Pain. By yeah. the way, John, mm. unless what I'm saying is incorrect, is was it Jabs' birthday yesterday? Was it? Huh. I thought it was Cuckoo's birthday, but I'm, I'm seeing no Cuckoo's birthday about... isn't like a couple days ago right like the day before yesterday was cuckoo it's jab's birthday as well wow that's I feel a, bad that's a lot of say, september babies we didn't say happy birthday yeah 
I've, and I've been greeting everyone as well. So. Oh. <laughs> Yo, no, that's not good. Well, no, okay, if it jabs. is, happy birthday, Jabs. If, if it is your yeah, birthday, happy belated so. birthday. Sorry, we, f- we forgot. Yeah. We forgot. Mm. We didn't know. We're not very, we're not very mindful, aren't we, Mike? No. Yeah, we slip up. Still, draft. Uh, Queen of Pain closer. Again, plays with a faces void here. You talked about the mid lane matchup up against the Quap and Snap. That is pretty good for the Quap. You can play around with it. It's going to be important for 496 to get their support rotations in to apply that pressure. That's something they're going to have to be working on there. And, well, I think uh, it's going to be a straightforward one. It, there's not too much room for surprises. Uh, Hung is going to be un- under a lot of pressure to get that fast Ags. But once you have it, you have so much more uptime here for 496 to play aggressive. Right? They can... There is a bit of a risk of being punished with a cask play. Right? So if Ninja Bogey's outside of the gobble up range, he, he can follow up, get the cask onto two heroes isolated. That is kind of the way for 022 to turn that around against 496. So uh, got to watch their spacing there, but should be a good one. Very, very even drafts. And you know, it's a, a lot of potential for big back and forths between both teams. That there is. See if they can... Uh... Which team is looking to win this one out? It's 496. They had a very uh, rough time in their previous series today, just getting too owed. So they definitely want to try and get a nice victory here if they can afford to. But 0 3 2. Well, they've been having an even rougher time through the group stages. So I'm sure they definitely want to try and end off on a win and go into the playoffs feeling good about themselves. <laughs> no techies. Oh, not to me. Yeah. No techies. <laughs> oh, it's fair, right? You've just got to ask nice, like, please, look, we can't ban the techies. Just just don't pick it, please, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just so value when you've got that player still. They get the disruption, but they're not going to follow up with a hoof stop. Nico's enough to force them away. Top lane. Looks like it is going to be... Uh, be two against two here for this bounty room, but you've got Rap Rap there with the Marana arrow. They'll wait patiently. I don't see them getting a kill, but they can get a lot of harass off with the Blood Rite and the arrow to fly in. But there's your Blood Rite. That BB gonna avoid it for now. They will take it on Bombi, and Bombi Ooh. gets hit by the arrow now. So he gets the bounty rune, but it's not going to be much when he does go down to Rap Rap. And that'll be your first blood already coming out for the side of 032. It's a really good start for them. Gets this dual lane off to a very, very good start. And this just makes it you know, it's slightly trickier for that BB. It should still be a decent lane for the Lifestealer up against the Bloodseeker. I don't think you're going to expect too much challenges there. Uh, it's still a lot of uh, space for the sports to really work on. And down mid, of course, you've got that Nico versus Hung lane. Quap against Snap. And Nico, you know, it's still early on, but he is slightly ahead in last hits. Of course, his wave is just pretty much gone, but you haven't seen Hung being able to secure any of those. It's not oh, really a lane. good sign. Ninja Boogie getting low, gets a nice cask off, and now Yassi could be in danger. They still get the kill on Ninja Boogie nonetheless. Natsumi unable to trade. Just uh, allow Yassi to salve himself up. And... Well, he doesn't really have the Shadow Poison, so he can't get really annoying in this lane yet. But even with the Disruption, with the Centaur, it is very easy to set up for a nice Hoof Stomp. Yeah, it's, it's just that old school combo. Disruption to Hoof Stomp, really easy way to set up for kills. Red is also going for an interesting build up here, Mike. He went with two Ring of Protections, not Rings of cult or ring of regents just going for the armor so it makes it harder for him to take harassment from ninja and even natsumi so just giving him uh, more value from each point of hp and it's making it tricky for natsumi to just feel safe in this lane he's still having a decent time with last hits but you can see that red is trying to apply that pressure Bombi top lane ended up getting very, very low there. He's going to Icarus dive back in onto Rap Rap. This could be dangerous. Blood right is out. Rap can't get any attacks off, but does connect with an arrow. It just won't matter. Bombi will take the kill on the Phoenix. Uh, looks like he will just remain in the lane. Even with that thirst up, he'll bring some regen out on the Courier and he'll be just fine. Yeah, it's uh, again a good start going off here for 496, the top lane. You're just so hard pressed to pressure the Lifestealer off. Like you can play with Blood Rite, but the Lifestealer itself doesn't care. 
You're gonna have to be clever with your arrows, or at least just accepting that it's at best a farm trading lane and you know, that VB. 9 to 2. Got an assist under the belt. Is, you know, gonna be happy with the state. This is he doesn't really mind if Bach and Rap Rap are trying to harass Bombi, he's still finding farm in the life. And that he is. Ninja Boogie. Trying to go on to Yassi, but a nice fairy fire out from Yassi will save the day for him. Nope. Red able to sustain himself in the lane, even without much regen on the Centaur. He's just fine. And Natsuni unable to really harass him out because that Retaliate does hurt you so much every time you do hit Red. Of course, that mid matchup, Hung, turns out he's been ahead on the Snapfire. Nico falling uh, quite a bit behind there with 10 last hits, 2 denies. So, 7 last hits behind Hung on that snap. But yeah, it's uh, another not... game where Snapfire seems to dominate the mid lane. It's not what you want from the Quap though. Hung is getting a bit too much there. And we're also approaching that 4 minute mark. He's got a fresh bottle up. He's going to be at a good point. Even if he doesn't win out in the rune trade, Hung should still be fine. You know, he maintains a full charge. Uh, you do have a slight advantage here as the Quap, right? You've got the blink. You can close that gap innately and kind of secure those runes for yourselves. But you've got Rap Rap around now, just camping the top rune. So we'll see who does get the edge. But you don't see that same respect here from 496. You might have to surrender the runes to 032 at first. Oh, Hung's gonna get the haste. Nico, he thought about blinking in, but a nice cookie preemptively out from Hung just to make sure. Top lane, looks like they are trying to go on to Bok, but he will be able to TP out just fine. And bottom lane, Yassi gets very, very low. That Melodict is still there and he's gone. No disruption. No. Gonna be there in time. He will avoid the last tick and survives on about 20 HP as he walks off. Yeah, it's a good time for Yassi. And that wastes a lot. I mean, when, when a Witch Doctor commits the cast Melodict, it's a lot of mana now. And it's a pretty long cooldown. So Red gets some free space. Again, you're seeing our center make a nice gap between him and Faces Void. Uh, 032 needs to be aware that Natsumi's not off to that good start he'd love on that hero. Oh, He's gone too far with that Icarus Dive, but does at least get a courier for his trouble. Tried to avoid the Blood Rite with that Icarus Dive out, but again, does cost him his life. And the Banner Runes for that matter. He won't be there to contest. I mean, Rap Rap can take it on the Murana. The other one will be left for Nico. Yeah, it's, uh, again, small wins here and there for 032 now. Um, maintaining a slight net worth lead. Uh, the biggest hurting point right now for 032 is still that Natsumi lane, but they've also kept that BB in check. It's a pretty good point, although Bok. Be in danger, but Arrow is going to come out from Rap Rap, and that'll stun up the Life Stealer. The crap is going to keep trying to fight Bombi, but it's very hard into those level 2 fire spirits. It's a lot of damage and a lot of attack slow and rap. Take a lot of damage out now from Bombi. Eventually, Bombi will just let it go. Back to that mid lane, Nico still having a bit of a struggle here. But Hung has rotated up towards that top lane now with the Mortimer's Kisses. They want to try and go into Bok, but it is tough without any lockdown. It seems that they don't really need it though. Bok doesn't know what to do with himself. We'll just throw out the blood right and accept the fact that he is going to die and hung. Very nice rotation out from the Snapfire. Yeah, it, uh, it, every single kill helps you set up for the eggs. So it is going to be an eggs rush for hung. And again, once you've got that, you've got this impactful combination coming out. I love that 032 take that opportunity to line themselves up mid up. They're shoving in the wave hard. They've got their siege creep ready. They can see you some good damage, but 496, they're sneaking around. Oh, Nico gonna make the jump in with the blink, but Hung getting a nice cookie off, and now Yassi is gonna be there to back him up. Oh, Ooh. the sonic wave right in the middle of him. Oh, he's trying to run. He's gone. Oh, right in the middle. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough. That's not a good sign for 032. Pretty demoralizing, but... You know, you did push aggressively, you blinked out on top. Rap Rap was not in a good position to do anything beyond arrowing. So uh, if you don't really manage to make it work, good movements from 496. Again, that rotation from behind from Bombi is well cut off 
any intervention, any further intervention from our Marana. So, perfect positioning. Two to four now, four, nine, six. They look to set down Bot, Natsumi. He's the only one they've kind of left alone. He has managed to ca catch up now. 37 to seven in the last hits. Mask of Madness not too far off. And once a Faces Void has that, the first Chrono and the farm does shoot up quite a fair bit more. Oh, rap Rap cops a scatter blast to the face, trying to go for an arrow attempt onto Hung. Doesn't quite get it off. Top lane, looks like they are trying onto Bok. Bok will rupture up. Oh, <laughs> Bumpy! <laughs> I don't. Th I think oh. Bumpy thought it was that BB that got ruptured, but Bok, heads up play from him, knowing that eventually the Icarus Knife would come out, and uh, that, that's a really nice kill. But <laughs> bot lane, they do lose Natsumi on the uh, on the void. Yeah, it's a bigger one. I think you're happy with his trade of your 496. You're keeping Natsumi down. You're stalling out the Mask of Madness timing. Uh, Zero Tree Two Door, they're set up for a push up top. You know, they're standing around. They don't need actually fully commit. They're just going to maintain these lanes. And the towers stay protected from both sides. So no aggression for this early objectives. We are at the eight and a half minute mark. You start to really expect both teams to plan around the tier ones. And Hong, he is working his way bot now. And he is. Not that time. Natsumi gonna be careful not to get caught, but there's your stampede down into the hoof stomp and it connects perfectly. Hung has the follow-up with the scatter blast. They get another. That is the second time Natsumi has died in the void, and well this time he'll just TP up top, I'm sure, but this bottom T1 tower is not gonna last too long. No, it definitely won't. Unfortunately for Natsumi, he just died a while ago. So he TP'd in, there's no TP, he's gonna have to walk down to the lane. This is going to be a quick tier 1 from 4 and 6. They're going to have to yes. defend it. A lot of rotations out. Red will get ruptured. Now the Melodict and the cast in onto Hung with the Sonic Wave. Hung is just gone. Nice defense now from 0 3 2. It will force the side of 4 9 6 to back off. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. You get a kill on top of that as well, coming out for Nico. So he gets a, a little bit of catch up gold. We're still looking for our Quap to build into the Orchid. Doesn't look like it's going to be there as fast as you'd expect. That BB is just kind of dancing around top, though. So you've left the lifesteal alone to keep farming up like this. It is a bit dangerous letting that BB just do this. Uh, if he gets a good timing on his armlet, you're going to be... You, you might struggle to find the killing blow on a hero like that. Bumpy going to run into Nico. It's a bit of a dangerous predicament for him, but he's fighting back up against Nico. In fact, he'll go for the Icarus dive now. And the Mortimus kisses out. Nico is in this, but it won't matter. They're just going to try and guess this one out, and he does die. Now the egg's out. Can they kill it in time? It doesn't look like they can. They will get the egg off. Bumpy survives a bock. He's going to go down as well. Oh, that is just so disgusting from 496. <laughs> they got away with yeah, way they too much. Oh, they, they just line up their team fights perfectly. The saving, disruption play to save out Bombi's egg. You know, every single thing lining up. And because of that, they got rewarded. Four to nine. Still a 2k lead. All of these fights keep happening while that BB is just alone. And free farming up. I think if you're four and six, this is basically the perfect start. They're starting to clump up though. They know uh they know where that BB is, and that siege creep. But they're not really going to be able to do anything against it. He's just going to get the pull off and get some steady farm. It's going well for 496. 2k net worth lead. Back to those T1 towers. Red will go after the bot T1. And of course the top lane will be pushed in by Natsumi. And friends of course. He does have none. Ninja Boogie and Rap Rap. And that baby just going to keep farming around the area. They may actually try and go for a defense here, 496. They are still hanging around. And that T1 tower is full HP. It hasn't been touched. They have the opportunity, but there is a lot of heroes here from 032 and that BB. He does not have the infest, but he can rage TP, and he will make it out. Yeah, he plays it smart as well. He TPs mid to get some additional farm in. 032, their push potential is really not that quick. Like, Bok is going to try to get that done by himself. They've already lost their bot tier one, and oh, they might be able to catch Hung. Maybe. I'm going to turn back around for a shotgun blast. 
That BB still goes onto that T1 tower. It's down to half HP now. Aprap is just going to maintain this defense. Go. It's a bit behind here. Open Wood's going to come out. He'll be forced to blink away. They will almost also commit the uh, Moonlight Shadow. But the thing is, you are going to be fighting into those Mortimer's Kisses again. So they'll commit the Chrono. They'll try to get this Life Stealer, but the disruption is out from Yassi. He has been arrowed, but he does save that BB. And now it is raining fire once again. Hung will force him out of there. Zone him out. Now the Stampede is there from Red. And they will just jump into this team fight. Don't know. That BB, he does go down at the Sonic Wave. But that Egg is still going. But Natsumi does finish it off. And now goes back onto the Centaur, who does kill off Nico. And Red, he will die in the fountain. <laughs> He'll die at home. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an even trade, tree to tree. Uh, so uh, you're, you are still slightly happier here in 496, though. You did get two of the cores. Um, you lost your pause one for it. Mm, but you're building up in Hung. I think this is the one here you do not want to lose. So Hung's grabbing kills. He's accelerating towards the Ags. 1,000 gold off. Even if you lost your life stealer. You still managed to stave off as well by killing off Nico. I think that's a fair trade. 496, they just they just need to sit back, wait that next 1,000 gold out from Hung. Once you've got the gobble up, and once you've got the armlet for that BB, you can play a lot more forward. 032, Natsumi has to be so careful when he throws the Chrono. We see what happens. If you don't catch the Shadow Demon, your target will more than likely be saved by that Shadow Demon. So he's got to be on point, got to be disciplined with the Chrono, and... You have to have this follow-up ready from 032 as well. When it drops, Sonic Wave has to be on top to get that instant first stop. Wow! That baby lost a lot of HP there, Natsumi. He's getting very unlucky there, getting bashed quite a lot from our Void. Nico's still trying to work towards that Orchid. Natsumi. Top lane. Does get stunned up. Ooh. Is gone. Ouch. Yep. Just uh, just blasted down. A gap closing a lot in there. Going to go for more. Rap rap. Yeah, he's being chased. He'll leap. He has one more, but Hung does have a haste trim, but that is going to wear off now. He saw the leap, I think. Or maybe not the Icarus Knight. The Cookie not oh. going to make it. He went the wrong way. He needed to do it quick, though. There was really no choice in the matter. Uh, there is going to be a smoke or rather moonlight shadow up from 032 now. They'll get the bounty runes from that bot lane. Red going to run into Ninja Boogie who commits the death ward but the stampede and disruption is out. The sun ray going to come in. Mortimer's kisses are flying out once again towards Bok. They are not on target this time. Nico will be able to blink out of there. It's a... Uh... Couple of spells wasted out here by 496. The kisses are the longest cooldown, although. Ooh, nice chrono Ooh. out from Natsumi. Does end up killing off that BB on the life stealer. Uh, that BB, he was left alone up at that top lane, and it was just a very easy kill for Natsumi to take for, take for himself. Yeah, that's that's what you want to see, right? You go for the kills while the Shadow Demon's away. He can't save anyone if he's too far out. That BB, he is farming really far forward. I think it's time for him to take that safer farm. You need your life stealer to hit certain um, item spikes here as well. The desolator needs to come out, but there's that axe. So uh, you've got the initiation options here from Hung. You've got a lot of damage flying out. You have to watch that centaur gobble up. It's going to do a lot of work here if it lands in the right target. See how they get it done, though. I mean, I don't think that baby is quite ready to uh, to get involved in these team fights yet. He's mm. just going to focus in on making sure he gets his own farm up, and looks like he has changed his mind. And instead of a Desolator, he is going to go for the Heaven's Harbor. Hung, going to go after that tier one mid tower now. Cool. Does get the gobble up on the Centaur. Spits him back out straight onto two. Here they do get oh. off on the Blood Seeker, and that'll be him gone. Now even Ninja Boogie being purged up by Yassi. They even get Red's Courier. So I guess that's the one bright side for 032 is they get the Centaur Courier. But they drop two heroes in the mid lane and their tier 1 tower is certainly gone. Yeah, it's it it's a really quick take as well. You've got Red who can cop the damage and melt through. It's 
it's difficult now for 0 -3 -2. This is such a major power spike with the gobble up. I mean, because you can get the stun off, you get the full burn DPS. I believe that's 700 magic damage. Like, without reduction. That is literally 700 magic damage with a gobble up, with a stun off. Uh, you've got to you've got to pace yourself here, Zero Tree 2. Be aware of that long range now. Try to play safe. Try to farm up. Natsumi needs to finish up that MKB. And then even after that, I'd say BKB is going to be necessary here, which he does queue up. Although, we do Moonlight. Shadow. Chrono's not up. Not sure about this one. They, uh, they do give up on it. Yeah, 496 uh, though, they know they're there. They're gonna counter smoke. I wanna just gobble. Okay, why not? Just gobble up. Nico. Oh. No. Oh. Way off. <laughs> I think they were maybe trying to guess where they were, but definitely was way off. And maybe now they, they can try for the smoke attempt if they really want to, and it looks like Bombi does. They'll commit the smoke. And they'll try again onto Nico. Now, they don't have the gobble up for another 15 seconds. So they might need to just get the uh, disruption off here from Yassi. They have the angle now, Nico. Trying to juke something out. Stampede's going to be there. Nico's still on the run. Does blink away now, but he, they know he went to the north. They scout him out with the shadow poison, and Nico is gone. While that was happening, by the way, Rap Rap also died. Down to the bot lane to that BB. Yeah, that's that's really not it for Zero Tree Two. They're trying to clump around. They might be able to get the counter kill here. They should be able to. They have the Chrono and the Death Ward. It's definitely worth going for the kill on the Life Stealer, unless it oh, just TP's no. out. Get a hesitation out from Zero Three Two. Yeah, it cost them. That would have been a really nice pickup. So it opens up the opportunity. Zero Three Two are pushing in the top tier one. That's going to be all tier 1's gone here for Zero Three Two at 19 minutes in. Not the worst timing. And they still hold on to every single tier 2. Which means they still maintain some control in their deeper jungle. But 496 now, 6k lead, Mike. Uh, that BB, he does have the Sanj. He's just lacking the Talisman for the Halberd. I think once you've got that, you can expect the life stealer to start sticking, him, sticking himself with the Centaur. You can expect 496 to go for those bigger fights and try to widen that gap by forcing these team fights. Still, you, you can't count Zero Tree 2 out. The MKB is almost done and there is a smoke here. Oh, Ninja, gonna have his smoke broken, doesn't quite Ooh. realize it. And does go down, but now the rupture's out. Onto Red. With the blood right to silence him, but he is so tanky with that Hood of Defiance. They gobble him up. He's still ruptured, but it doesn't count. <laughs> All right, we learned something new today, John. Apparently, oh, if you get ruptured and you get spat out, oh, there's the Chrono oh, Natsumi going to catch at least the Centaur, but now the disruption going to make it so he can't even finish him off. Red will turn around with the hoof stomp. Now they jump in, Natsumi. He does go down. The egg has been committed. Rap Rap's gone. Bok, he's trying to run. They're trying to get the egg, but they just can't. Ninja Boogie is dead. Bok is going to try for the TP, but he does just get culled by Red. But back oh, to the point boy. I was making, John. Gobble up <laughs> does not care for upshot. How? How though? Like, I get the total distance might be outside the trigger point, but surely, no, surely Valve didn't code it that it only counts as like a teleport. Well, he's right? not like, walking, I, I... John. He's not oh, walking. He's flying through the air. <laughs> What's the problem? That is, that is just not fair. If if it, oh my god, that is just not fair. If it really just detects the start and end points as movement. Ooh, we've got to clean up that code there. Still. I don't see a problem, John. It, he's, <laughs> not, he's not walking, he's flying. I don't see how he bleeds out if he's literally flying through the air, John. <laughs> Tell that to clockwork with a hook shot with rupture on, Mike. Yes. That's the saddest thing you'll ever see. <laughs> it is. Makes a bit more sense, though, doesn't it? Gobble up. Oh. Rap, rap. Oh, he copped it. Oh, there God. you go. See you later, rap, is rap. fair? At 700, just the snaps... Damage alone is 700 magic. He's <laughs> oh, gonna run. 700 magic with that kind of range. It's like, really. Yeah, just it's, the it's, finger it's, of it's death insane. from half the map away. Yeah. It's, uh, Why pick lion it's, it's, when it's, you can just pick snapfire? <laughs> now you're making me sad. <laughs> Why pick lion? He's he's dead, dude. Stop it. Stop, stop mocking the boy. He's already dead. <laughs> <sighs> Smoke up from 496 once again. 
I don't know. Now I have to test in a demo to see if that's actually a thing. No. Oh, that's oh. perfect. Red, he's on to two now. Cookie's in. Oh, hung, hung. Apparently, oh. he can play the mid snap fire too, John. Uh, it, it, it's just so domineering. Like, I had a talk about this with my friend, Crestota, right? He, he was spamming it around as well. And then he realized just how bro how busted Scatterblast this is a spell now. Not to me. Stuck in the trees, he's got time walk, but the shadow poison, he's still invis. Yassi. He might notice, because that invis is about to wear off, and the shadow poison is going to wear off later, John. Is it? Oh. No, it's going to be the same no. time a red found him anyway. Natsumi trying to run, there's the fire, again dropping from the sky. He can chrono, but there's absolutely zero point in doing so. Here we go. Down to that bot tier 2 tower it is, 4496. Oh. There's oh, the infest. Oh, I want to see it. Gobble him up and send him out later. You got to do it. It's they odd they, they, it's odd they do that before the tower falls, though. You know, maybe <laughs> you want the right click out. <laughs> a bit preemptive. Oh, oh no, they go for a TP play. Okay, I thought that top lane, who have they caught? It is going to be Nico, but he's going to make a run for it. But that baby is quite fast and does get the open wounds off. Still, he'll have another blink in a second. He has time to TP away, unless Red can guess, but he doesn't have a blink anyway. It was on cooldown. But still, they've only got one out of tower left for 0-3-2, and there's a 13k net worth lead right now for 496. I'd say they're pretty yes. happy. Yeah, definitely are. Dota Plus, Mike, it says 97% chance for 496. I believe that 3% is the chrono effect, right? As the game drags on, chrono just becomes so much more valuable, so much stronger as a teamfight spell, because nothing counteracts it beyond, well, beyond, like, the Shadow Demon. So if you can get that off, you're looking at good time. The MKB is finally done, and they do smoke up. They're sitting on this chrono. Let's see how it works out. They're going to run right into red again with the Death Ward, the Melodic, and the Arrow all connected. But Yassi is going to be there to save with the disruption, but not to him. He's had enough. He gets in with the Chrono. He bursts down the Centaur. And now Bombi getting ruptured through the Icarus dive. Gets the egg off anyway. They aren't going to be able to reach the egg. So they might have to run as the Gobble up. Going to land again from Hung. On to two. Natsumi's going to try and run. Looks like he will. But they got a disruption onto Rap Rap. Rap will just leap away. Nico still chasing down the Shadow Demon. Yassi in trouble. Should drop and does. They are winning this team fight now, 0 3 2. Hung needs to find a way out and will just TP away, but the arrow is going to land in time. Nice team fight from 0 3 2. They make it work. Jeff, yeah, really worked while it's smoke. Really a bit of an overextension from 496 in the latter half of that. But that's a huge gold swing out for Zero 2.8k going their way. They get access into the Roche Pit. And 496, they're not going to respawn in time to get this done. They really need hung around with the kisses to contest. So it's going to be a nice objective for them to pick up, Zero 3 2. They've still got some, you know, steam left in them. Can't underestimate the side. Roshan's gone, Zero 3 2. Oh, Red, he's just going to jump in onto Rathra. Rap Rap will survive with the mech, and now the Death Ward's out, Red! Bit confident there from Red, and uh, and that BB. They'll, uh, they'll be forced to back off now, but Ninja Boogie's having a gander with this Glimmer Cape. He's gonna get spotted. They are gonna blink in with Yassi. That BB does manage to pick up a free kill for himself. It's, uh... Not the biggest trade here for 46. I mean, in the end, you did sacrifice your centaur for that pickup technically, so uh, not not the greatest. Uh, 032 is still going to be happy. There's, they're making some solid progress on itemization. Bok has a BKB up, so he can stand and fight uh, now on that Bloodseeker. Nico as well is rushing his BKB. So once these start flying in, the three cores of 032 should be able to just sustain themselves and 496. Well, they can't be sloppy. They've still got a lot of power in them. Uh, they do have the Deso and they do gobble up. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. That baby just coming in style and they do get the Aegis. It's a hit and run, John. They're making a run for it. That's it. Ooh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one way to get that done. Really good use of those wards they've got here. 
Just uh, maximizing the use of that information. And Aegis down now for 0 3 2. Not the biggest loss, but that does mean not to me. Will really just sit back and farm. Work towards that BKB first before forcing these fights. 4 9 6. I think they, uh, they want to make even more use of that advantage. And there's that infest onto red. Oh, Might look for another gobble play, but there's no one in this side of this map yet. No, there is not. On anyway. But they aren't going to really run into anyone at all. 0 3 2, they have backed off quite nicely. Maybe they could find Nico, but he's also TP'd out now. Might be time to uh, to give up on this smoke. Try to go for another later on. Moonlight Shadow, however. Out from 0 3 2, and they're going to make a rush towards the uh, the north of the map where Yassi will be. Yassi is going to be able to blink out in time, and looks like he'll be safe. She almost, well, not really almost, but he is working towards that Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. Uh, that are uh, three charges of purge on it. It does do a lot of damage. Oh, it definitely does. Even the control is pretty darn good to have, so you would want that to be up ASAP or, you know, as quickly as a pause 5 can get it. It's going to be pretty impactful once it's there. This farming game is helping Zero Tree 2 a lot more. Again, their cores are just... Uh, they do have some nice spikes later down the line, oh, although... Oh, fuck, fuck. Careful, sir. They are going to get the gobble up, but he wants to send... Oh, what? Natsumi, Natsumi, no! Misses the chrono. Bok has been left behind. He'll try to BKB TP in time, and he will. They only get Ninja Ooh. Boogie on the Witch Doctor. Missed out on the chrono. It can be a little bit hard to land into the Stampede. That is uh, definitely not very good news for 0 3 2. No, it's not. The, it's not the biggest loss, as you mentioned. Ninja Boogie is sort of just a very small consolation prize at this point. But this does open up a push potential. You know, they wasted the 10 second charge of that BKB of Bach. That was a fresh pickup. You know, that was why they smoked earlier on. And they can they can start setting their eyes to bigger objectives. Maybe the tier 2, maybe up top. Happy. Uh, Yules off that silence. Goes for the Sunray. Just forces Nico back. Nico does have a TP and should be alright. Looks like he might even stick around and try to just push out the wave. While all this has been happening, Natsumi does pick up the BKB now. Looking much stronger on this void as time goes on. But, looks like they found one. Rap Rap. Bot lane is going to get purged up. Doesn't have any more leaps and definitely is going down. So while they're not getting the big team fights they won on the side of 496, they are still finding solo pickoffs. Has been rather easy for them as 0-3-2. They, uh, they continue to just avoid 496 for now. Just seemingly not very ready yet to take a big fight again. Yep. Yeah, um, they have been sitting on these BKBs they just picked up though. And I I am assuming they're just waiting for Natsumi to get his Chrono back up. Then you would really want to reveal this Chrono BKB. You can see 496 though. They are trying to toss someone in and Nico. Oh, Nico. He's been caught again, and they just have so much stun hung. Just pump fakes. It's just domination. It's Dota Plus saying yeah. now. It actually went back down after that big team fight in the mid lane, down to 91%. But they smoke up. They want to make another play. They don't really have the gobble up for another 10 seconds, but they should have it in time. Come on, you gotta you got do it with that BB infested. I wanna see it at least once. Nope. No, he's not in. Double up, down to the pot lane, Ninja Boogie trying to TP, but oh, oh. he's been stunned up. Oh. Do they know he's there? No, no they, they don't. don't. Moonlight Shadow <laughs> gonna come in. He's just kinda stuck. Oh my god. That is just so off. Oh, not oh, no. Mid lane, they have caught out the life stealer. It's a lot of damage out, and they are going to be able to kill him. He could not armor toggle in time. And now Natsumi with that BKB wants to keep going forward. Hung, Sonic Wave going to be good out from Nico, and now it's onto Red on that Centaur. He's trying to TP. It is not looking good. They will lose him. 
496. Another failed team fight in that mid lane. They might have to yep. just save that gobble up for uh, for when it matters. Yeah, they're, they're trying to go for these blind plays, having a bit of fun. They are being punished. Um, I'd say this is really the time you go with that infest gobble up combination. You need to send more heroes out now and uh, Nico. Yeah, Yules is going to purge off the silence and Bim Bombi will be fine. The tier 2 top tower it is for Nico. 0 3 2, they're on the way to a comeback. I mean, it's, it's a slow process for them, but they're getting there. Yeah, I, I think the biggest cause of concern here for 496 is they are stalling this little late game. Right? And again, faces Void, massive late game hero. The Quap gets a huge spike at level 25. Once you get that scream of pain, fear. So you just have so much control coming out as well. And 496, I mean, you know, the Lifestealer has some weird spikes at 25. It, it's got some great itemization you can go into as well. But the rest of your lineup, I think they, it will take some more time to get up. Like Hung, he doesn't actually go for... Wow, that's actually so strange. He doesn't go for the level 20 right-click talent. So not the little shredder attack damage, which means he's probably not going to get the little shredder multi-shot as well. Which, I think if you're dragging this game long, that's much more value. Like, the Kisses Slow and the Kisses Launch are great, but they're only great if you close the game out fast. And if you keep stalling out like this, you're gonna wish you took those other talents, because the right-click is really value for, say, 50 minutes in, 60 minutes in. That means, uh, if it does drag that long, you're gonna have to give Hung priority to his level 30. I agree with that. I mean, it is a very unique kind of choice for Hung to make. Mind you, it does make his slow kind of incredible now with the Mortimer's Kisses, mm -hmm. but still not going to have that super late game value for sure. Unless you go to level 30. In which case, you know, you do. Hung will TP up towards that top lane and start clearing out the creep wave, it seems. As the rest of his team are starting to group up and rush towards that top lane, but everybody seems to know something's up. Rap Rap does hide in the tree line and should be fine to just back off. Smoke up here from 032 now into the Moonlight Shadow, but Ninja Boogie did get spotted. Red will just blink out immediately. Pretty much be it. Unless Hung gets the couple up. Where's he going? They miss out on Rap Rap. However, Bok, Bloodright, gonna give a bit of vision. Gonna back off as well. Just uh, that BB's had enough of waiting. He'll go after Bok now on that Bloodseeker. Bok kind of the sitting duck right now, trying to get a rupture off. It's really going to mean nothing. That BB will just wait it out. In fact, Hung might just gobble him up and send him in. And he does. Gobble up. Where are we going? Into the Roshan pit, he says. But uh, the Roshan's still a minute and a half, or just a minute away now, so... No Roshan for you. No. It's... Uh... Again, not the biggest pick off here. I think Bach is pretty okay copying that gank for his team. He did pop his BKB, which is never nice to see. But you save everyone else. You don't commit your ults here from 032, so you've still got Chrono, you've still got Sonic Wave. There's the Ags, though, on Yasi, and this might cause some issues. This control does pierce the BKBs, so you shouldn't feel too safe if Yasi can close the gap and get gets, uh, the demonic purchase off. Well, you might be in for some trouble there. Especially when he gets the level 25 talent on Yassi. It gets pretty silly, John. How much damage he can pump out. Mm. The number is 2.7k, uh... by the way, is the number. If he, uh... Yeah, it's pretty nice. Without the, without the Soul Catcher as well, which I, I guess doesn't amplify damage anymore, but... Eh, 2.7k. Pretty nice here for Yassi at 25, but... They're going to smoke up anyway with this Aghanim Scepter into the mid lane where that BB is trying to bait for his team. And it might just work as they are surrounding that BB for red. Just going to jump straight in, but Natsumi oh. gets a nice chrono. But here comes those Mortimer's Kisses. It's a lot of damage out. But there's your Sonic Wave from Nico now holding the back lines back. It looks like the Centaur is going to drop. That has to leave the building. Icarus dive in though with the egg and the Sunray being thrown out. But it is going to be focused in by Nico. And he will be able to take it out. But Hung. Gets a double kill on the snap fire. 
Atsumi now, a man on the run as Hoof Stomp does actually land onto Rap Rap. He does go down. Back Ooh. with the Gobble Up. Connecting on two. Natsumi will time walk away. But Ninja Boogie tries the Death Ward. He gets bashed up. Natsumi came back in with the Scythe device up on Hung now. It's not going to last long enough, however. That is a one team fight for 496, I believe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a costly one. They did have to buy back twice, but they got one die back. They open up access to the Roche. If they can secure this one cleanly, it would be definitely, definitely worthwhile. There is no chrono here for 032, so it's a harder approach in, and they don't quite have the numbers. They're gonna have to surrender this Aegis and Cheese, more than likely going 496's way. That's gonna help them kind of compensate for those, dot, for those buybacks, so. Yeah, they've, they've got a they've got a little bit more gas in the tank now. Still maintaining a pretty nice net worth lead, and now they could they could opt to try to play aggressive with that BB. He's got that leeway up. There are tier four items to farm up though, and uh, zero three two did take that time to really clear out some camps from themselves. Hold though, Bok. Bok, yeah, he's in trouble. Gobble up's gonna be there from that BB. But the bot wave has been forced out by Nico, so you're not really going to have the opportunity to go high ground down to that bot lane. It will have to be the mid lane again. It's definitely going to be the hardest lane to push out, but with Bok down, this is probably the best chance they've had to get it done. Yeah, um, that was a pretty big dieback to get, no? X is out with the purge. Rap Rap still going to be able to just leap away. The mid wave was skipped out by Nico, so you don't have any dire wave coming in to help take down this tier 3 tower. Backdoor protection should be there pretty soon. Not quite yet. So just keep going. There it is, about time. But the, the melee barracks are now down. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's a big objective here for 496 to take. Gonna be really pleased with that. You are gonna have your team fight up and ready from 032 soon though. Natsumi does have the chrono up, so they, he could just TP back in and get a big team fight going. He's gonna move fast though, as now their bot racks are under threat. Yep, Red got stunned up by an arrow. He doesn't really seem to care. That BB just gonna freely go ahead and take that bot racks. 032, you're gonna make a decision soon. In fact, bot lane, Ninja Boogie got caught out on the Witch Doctor. He'll be hexed. They'll take their time with him. They'll eventually take him out. And even a three man oh. stun out from Red into the egg from the Phoenix and the Sunray. It's not going to amount to much. But they do get two Raxes. The only one left standing is that top lane. And that's because there is a tier two tower there. So Bok, he'll go grab the bounties and immediately start pushing that top wave out. Yeah, they've got to get some space out in the map here. 21k lead now for 4 and 6. They still hold the Aegis. They do have the cheese. And they, they know they can keep fighting here. There's no need to rest. There's still the Chrono from 032, but if they find a pick off here, it might open up even more push opportunities. Uh, Nico's going to be fine. He does TP out on the tree line. They'll have to get to start uh, pushing these waves out again. <laughs> Take a bit of time for 496 to get back to that uh, that radiant base up in the top lane, but that time is given. More time for Hung to get an Octarine core up now, John. So uh, a very oh different mid style of. Oh, and he actually got a spell prism as well. Are you kidding? Wow. <laughs> so 20% and 25%. How much is Gobble up now? 24 seconds, 24. not too bad. 66 seconds of the Mortimer's Kisses. Oh boy, 7.2 and a little shredder. You really do wish you had that attack damage there. Would be a lot of uptime. But, True. you know, everything else is still great. Uh, even the hex, right? Even our hex uh, cooldown goes down to 13 seconds. Like, mm. that is actually pretty sad. That, that's pretty insane. Yes, Way serious. too much uptime in that. They almost have that 25 as well. So he's probably going to go for the uh, the left talent for the extra more yeah. kisses launched, but it's it's a lot of damage. They come out faster as well once you have that up. Cool. Double up. Oh, it's actually land perfectly what? on Rap Rap. <laughs> oh man, and that that's the that's it, that's the broken thing about this, right? Like it's a great initiation tool. It's good damage and. 
it, it's just free vision. You just toss a creep to tell you where everything everyone's at, and Matsumi. suddenly you just know. They know he's there. They're pinging him out. That BB, he knows. He's trying to bait, and here comes the gobble up. It's going to be on target as well, but they have the Abyssal anyway. Natsumi does get a nice chrono off. He's caught two of them with the Death Ward and the Melodic, but it's all onto the Centaur, who's taking no damage. Now Nico, he's been bashed up. He will finally get the blink away into a nice Sonic Wave, but it may just not matter. They don't have the damage output. There's one. That'll be Bok. They did at least get Bombi on the Phoenix. But without your Chrono, without Bok and the Bloodseeker, can they actually hold them back? from taking that top rax. Well, Red, he's going to miss out on the hoof stomp, but Ninja Boogie is still going to melt to the damage of that BB. They'll try to Yassi, but he's going to be all right to just kite him out. Natsumi's still trying there with Nico, but now a cookie going to lock him down. That's Natsumi gone. Rap, rap. He's trying to run, but he just can't. They'll buy back. But this game does look to be over, and they do call it. See you later, nerds. Ooh. Man, it's a strong showing from 496. Really good plays here from game 1032. They they were finding some stuff early on. They were putting up a bit of a fight, but they were sitting on some some big spells. Um, not to me, not quite delivering the goods there with the Kronos this game. They're gonna have to look. Uh, they're gonna have to look for their win in the last the last game, like for the group series uh, group stage, which is which is coming up next. Last game of the night of the group stage. We'll see how this one pans out. We'll be back in 10 minutes to uh, see who can pull this win off. See you then.